Oh, Rabbi Wolam, we found you. Uh, all right, we, we don't have a benzin here. As you look around, I'm in the beautiful Chabad house of Las Vegas. I want to tell you a short story about Chabad house in Las Vegas, Rabbi Harlick. You know that I, we used to have a yeshiva's kayats in Freeborn, Minnesota. That's like Hinterslutsk. Hinterslutsk. Uh-huh. And you just finished saying Kaddish for your father. So I remember when I was, uh, my father's yard is always a hey Thomas, so it's always the middle of summer. I remember sitting, I remember sitting there saying, saying uh, Kaddish. I'm saying, I saw about Abana, about Tamidei, about Kolmanda, asking by Raisa. Whoever's studying here, Freeborn, there's nobody else studying in Freeborn but, but the people in my yeshiva. So I think Las Vegas. Nobody associates Las Vegas with Taira. So you see a group of people here, a coal the asking by Raisa, the Vaasra Dane. This is the these are the people that are studying in Las Vegas. He should show the people. He should studying. show the people. This yeah, is the, yeah, yeah, show the people. This is the uh, Las Vegas Rabbi Rabbi, I'm not saying your last name. Be proud. This is Manda asking by Raisa, the Vaasra Dane. Anyways. All right, so I want to say, uh, Rabbi Yos from, I'm not going to say from where, Rabbi Yos said, Rabbi Wilhelm, I, I listened to her share of yours in Pasach and was very nice. Tell you the truth, the, 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 the Parsha Shavua ones, you're all over the place. So I decided I'll be, I'll be focused and I'll give one about, uh, about Shavua, it's more, more uh, down to earth. The Rebbe, the Rebbe says that, when, you know, just like the, the Yidin are compared to so many different type of food items. Uh, and and Torah is compared to so many different food items, L- wine, oil, bread, everything. There was also in the Sikhs of the Rebbe how the Abishta gave us the Torah, which is happening in Shavuos. There are different halachic terms, terminologies. The Abishta sold us the Torah, gave us it, we bought it, Kenyan. He gave it to us as a present, a matanik. He let achtayim nesati lechem. It's a It's an inheritance. That's the most beautiful one, because inheritance, whether you deserve it or not, when a, a parent passes away, you get it. So we each have a part of Torah, and then there are so many different, so many different parts of Torah, and each one of them has a, a lesson that we can learn from. So I thought I'll, 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 I'll stress a couple tidbits about each one of them. Let's talk about the matana part. The Abishta gave us a matana, the Torah, and and in many ways it says it's like a chasna. A chasn kala kechaloisa, just like a chasn gives a kala present, the Ebishter gives us a present, the Torah. So, Rabbi, uh, what's your first name? Menachem Shalom. Rabbi Menachem Shalom. I want to tell you, I'm pointing you out. Uh, not not for this, because it, but it's a, nobody ever paid attention to this. There's a Yerushalmi. Yerushalmi says in Hirius, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Kol Oisin Abarim Yom Shasim Moshe Bahar. The Moshe Ben was forty days up in Shemayim getting the Torah. Every day he would learn, forget, learn. At the end, it was given to him as a present. So the Kol Kach Lama, why did he, why did he learn it and forget it and learn? Why did just set it up that way? Answers the, the answers the Yishalmi, Bishvilahachzirasatipshim. So the foolish ones, so the people who are not that smart, should never give up learning Torah. If Moshe Rabbeinu studied the Torah with Hashem, at the end of the day he forgot everything, and yet he got the Torah, it was a lesson that everybody, even if you, see, you think you're a stonehead, and even if you think you don't know anything, you're in the Ramus, nobody has, Moshe Rabbeinu came every day, like, like I don't want to say the word, like a tippish. The Yishalmi says that for the tipshin to know, it, it's not, not for you, it's for everybody. Torah is for everybody. And that's the Matana part. That's the Matana part, you get it. Now comes a very interesting story about the 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 um, Yerusha part, or the 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 the, the, the Abish that gives it to us as a present. So there's a a, a question about the mecher, the, the sale. The, the Chazal saying Brachas Daf Hey Amar Abzera Boy Yerei Shalei Kamidas Hakadosh Baruch Hu Midas Basav Adam. The Abish that doesn't behave like a, a human behaves. A human, midas basav a human, when he sells something, who's happy and who's sad? Who's, when you, you're, you're forced to sell something or whatever. Who's, so the Gemara says, when a person sells something, moicher atzev, the one who sells, just, oh, I just never, I needed any money, so I, I was forced to sell it. But lekeach, the buyer is happy. But the Abishter sold us something. He sold us something. Ain't a king. The Abishter is not that way. Nasan lan Torah liyisrael. He gives us the Torah. The Sameach is happy. And the question is, what? What? Why? I mean, it's against the nature. 
So there's a chesidah shipshat. The chesidah shipshat is that usually as when a person sells something, he needs money. There's always, oh, I'm so attached to this. But the Abishter, but the Abishter is very much attached to the Torah. But he knows that he gives it to us. The Torah is going to get even better because we have, he gives us the power to be mechadish the Torah. So he's giving us something that he's going to, he's still happy. He's giving it away, but he knows that we're going to make it even better. So that's the sale part. Let's go to the next part. Let's go to the part about, about the chasen and kala, the present. So there's a very famous story. There's a, you can come in too. Well, a role play? Yeah. There's a very famous story of the, the, the Tzanzer Rebbe, when he, when he was looking to find a shidduch for his, his daughter, he, his daughter was, the, I think, the Avni Nezer. So the Avni Nezer, a big time Chacham. So, you know, back then, they used to, in today's days, you check out Yichus, you check out the family has money. Back then, there wasn't money. They got, it's all about if you know how to learn. If you know how to learn. If you know how to learn. So you had to, you had to what are you laughing? You had to check him out. So uh, he asked him a question. He says, Adam Arishan got married to Chava. And we know that the Torah says there's a, there's a procedure that has to be done. And the procedure of the chasna, you need witnesses. Who were the witnesses? Who were the kosher witnesses by Adam Arishan's chasna? The, Adam Arishan's chasna. There was no one else there. Good question. Huh? What would you say? Hashem and the Malachim. All right. So he answers, so he, he answers, Listen, that's such a big question. The whole reason you need witnesses is because when you take when you're, you're when you're 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 being Makadish a woman and you're taking her off the market, nobody else can take can have her now. So it's it's chavla Other people are losing to hurt other people to make that acquisition real. You need Avis. But there's no other people. No other people. So you don't need Avis. So you don't need Avis. That's the answer. So the question is, how about Matan Torah? Torah tzivolano Moshe may Russia kill us Yaakov. My Russia doesn't only mean inheritance. The Gemara says my Russia means engagement. Hashem gets engaged to us. Who were the witnesses back then? Who were the witnesses at the time of the? I mean, you know, there's a, there was actually there was a Masera of the Stark Suba that we have the traditional Stark Suba of the Chasna. There's a Suba written even if Rambam has a song about this. The Suba. You want me to finish? Should I sing it? Sing the song. Sing the song. Uh, <laughs> sing the song. No, that, that, that I charge extra. Zingen and Zong, baby. So uh, there's a stark super between Knesset Yisrael and Kodesh Baruch So who were the witnesses? Who were the kosher witnesses? And not only that, since the, the Torah was given to Yidin as a Kedushin, and the Chazal say that the Abish said, I have to give the Kedushin. Usually you could you could give a condition through a shliach, but I couldn't do it through a shliach because uh, because the shliach the malachim are not mechuyev the condition. So I have to do it myself. That's why it says bnei yisrael because everything has to be written lishma. So the mm-hmm. question is, who were the aided condition by the matan Torah when when the uh, was mekadesh klai yisrael? And the answer is. Since the Abish they went around to all the nations and said, Do you want it? Do you want it? And do you want it? And they all said, Nah, Leisirtzach not for me. Leisirtzach not for me. So the whole reason you need Eide Kedushin is because other people are getting hurt. These people weren't getting hurt. They let the Sechnafesnish. So you don't need Eide Kedushin, similar to the time of Avram Avinu, of Adam Arisha and Chava. So this is. Like the Rebbe would say, now when we are a couple of days away from Shavuos so and you want to be Mechabal Torah B'Simch B'Knimius, you have to, I'm running out of battery, <laughs> you have to make sure that you take it serious and you know that there is the lessons of Yerusha, it's yours. The Abishah gave it to us, so it's present. The Abishah sold it to us and you only buy goods, right? You don't buy lemons. You buy any, you buy a lemon, no. you don't invest in it. You, you're an accountant, you only invest mm-hmm. in, 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 in sure deal, yeah, right? No, no. You're not a high risk. Right? <laughs> only in sure deal. In sure deal. So this is... I'm very good to you hear Reb Mendel, the best investment is Taira. Ki toiv sachra mikol zchayim. Thank you, Reb Mendel. Thank you, Reb Mendel.